when you're falling I'll be there above all Back in old Russia. Now, we've been recruiting, but not a lot of people have been biting. So, feels like once I, now that I got a hang of you, we should uh, become more acquainted. And if that would lead to a more productive relationship, then uh, it kind of drifts off. I kind of get what you're saying. I got to get what you're saying. And I think I know at least a few um, <clears throat> individuals who could stand a little bit of productivity. Yeah. So he's going to, uh, he's going to like, good, good to hear it now. He like, where is he? Kind of like roots around in his pocket. And at one point you can swear he goes like up to his elbow in one of his pockets. I'm just thinking, it's like, I need one of those. Yeah, he he, he pulls out a a card, and he's like, yeah, show this to the gate, guys. They'll know where to route you once you get to the rock. And it is a little card with a series of numbers printed on it, and below, uh, the acronym TASK. TASK. Is the acronym spelt out, or is it just, you know, just have periods to show that it is an acronym? Yeah, periods to show that it is an acronym. Okay. Card, uh, card to the rock. He's definitely more implying bringing people for a job, not just for, uh, hey, send some goons over who can be trained for goon security, right? Yeah. All right. Those are people with a very special set of skills. The guy from Taken. Dude, Bring um... people for a trap. All right. I mean, he's going to do a solid for me here, so if he wants to try putting me into yeah. a death trap, you know, that, that's a fair exchange. Yeah. So he's going to, uh, so now that you've got all the information, he's going to open back up, back, open, uh, open up the doors again, and he's going to be like, all right, gentlemen, Mr. Firebrand here has just notified me that he was in fact referring to an associate that he knew in the Mordhau, uh conglomeration. Now, I'm sure you all know that Mordhau is a leader in innovation in the security and surveillance business. And they're all going to like start like nodding. And he's slowly going, he's going to like explain in like layman's terms how such a security system could be set up and how it could be beneficial. It like, he, he's less, he's now less talking about what you said and kind of steering things more towards a possible innovation in security. <laughs> yes. Yes. And they they appear to be they appear to be oh, okay, you know, I, I'm, I'm, that makes sense. And now but now they're they're thinking about uh installing a security system to track <laughs> to track people with powers. And he's like he, he, as you're talking about that he kinda of like looks back towards you and kinda of like shrugs. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see, we would have no problem, uh, <clears throat> uh, if such a need were to arise for, uh, legal reasons, to ensure accountability. Well, all in favor of limiting registration in favor of case-by-case -case surveillance, and most of the chamber does raise their hand. And do you have any qualms with that? Uh, no qualms. But I'm oh. wondering if they're going to vote on the uh, organizational idea as well. Mm -hmm. and, and so, and, and after that, uh, uh, all right. So we'll table that. And in regards to the organizational capacity, I believe we already have a member representing the interests of registration in this organization. And elevator guy is going to kind of nod, and he's going to explain his, he's going to give his elevator pitch. But I'm which, oh, he's also got an organizational pitch. Yeah. And so he's going to put forward this task organization. And he's very vague about a lot of points about it. But he is adamant that they will work with the authorities to deal with any threats to the city while being inside the law and sanctioned by the government. And they, these guys seem to be, uh, be pretty receptive to that, especially in light of the concessions they just made. 
I see. Hmm. Well, it's starting to fit together a little bit. <laughs> and I might say, like, uh, I don't see any problems at the time being, though I would, of course, love to leave open the option for a uh, more governmental institution if the need should arise. Yes, of course. We'll, uh, we'll save that for another day. But it looks like we have come to a consensus on the uh, surveillance over registration. So we'll uh, see if we can pass that contract on to some capable benefactors and we'll be on our way. It's like, all right, everybody. A and it's like, ah, well, everyone. And um, Gladstone's going to like clap his hands together. I believe that's lunch. <laughs> and and everybody's gonna go like, oh, oh no, yeah, oh, yeah, nice. And they're all going right. to. And I'll, I'll give them like all like a little uh, hand wave and a, a handshake on the way back, way out, and go. Oh, thank you for listening. Oh, it's been a pleasure today. Oh, yes, you know you're looking great. Yeah. Yeah, and, every, and then of course I'm undoubtedly left with uh, Mr. Task here. Yeah. So, you say... so would it be safe? <laughs> would it be safe to say this guy is the Taskmaster? Also, watch your damn mouth. Like, beds in the walls, but in the ground is the finest business ever made. What are you doing <laughs> with the fucking room, though? Well, that's where the beds come out of when you come out of the ground. What do you mean they come out of? Was it eject <laughs> you forwards? No, no it's, it's in like, the it's floor, like a, so you're exactly. wasting space on every floor. No, it's a hatch, so you're wasting zero space. You just walk over the hatch. To your no, you are bed. wasting space because the room that the hatch is in could have beds in the walls still. It's no, fucking think about stupid. It like this. In in the floors you have the beds, and above the floor you have the tennis court. <laughs> That's how you get them in. That's how you get them paid. So it's a single cover. story building. <laughs> I'm gonna answer that with a no because look at the place the name is on. <laughs> That's a multi-story building, hundreds of stories tall, meaning every floor has wasted space on it. This is a it dumb was business. By government car it was built by government contract. It's actually required by law to be in the floor at this point. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 they change the layout, they're gonna lose fifty percent of their clientele. See, I figured your argument was going to be, you put that name on that building, Primus. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. That is also true. <laughs> no, like, honestly, that would probably be more suiting to something like this. Well, yeah, but the sign is so big it doesn't fit on the building. Yeah. Because it's also a horrible okay. name for a business. You just have a second building as your sign. Perfect. Right. Because we're wasting space, so might as well just buy a second building to put our signs on. Correct. Like I said, government contract. <clears throat> Burn this place to the ground. Government! So! You've, uh, you've done the thing. So you've, you've, uh, gotten all that legislating out of the way. Indeed. Do you want to fill us in about the... <laughs> it's like, you want to fill like us I in there? Just, to. You just signed away our souls to a man in an elevator? Oh, you know, maybe just for the day, you know? You, you, what's the worst damage that could happen to your soul in a day? Uh -huh. You would probably know better than us in seeing as you're divinely connected. It's fine, it's fine. You won't miss it, it's fine. <laughs> won't miss it. <laughs> Oh, but yes, I believe at some point I probably do need to actually uh, tell Arsenal. Like, hey, you've been keeping up with the news, right? A little bit. I mean, is this like over the phone? Or do, you, do you come back to the warehouse or something? Uh, I will probably come back to the warehouse and talk to you. All right. There are subtle but noticeable differences in the in the layout of the warehouse. Yeah. Did you move this box like five inches in this way? <laughs> As he's standing next to one of the drop-down turrets. <laughs> There's something different about this. Was this um, box yellow last time? <laughs> no. No, it's always been red. Yeah, uh, the Mordhau is hunting me down through here. Is maybe a little paranoid. I decided to actually put some real defenses in. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So where are they? 
Do you really want to see him? Well, yeah, where are your security guards? <laughs> Epic, deploy all defenses. So, <laughs> immediately, things go absolutely insane. <laughs> so, like, so, like, the, the lights all turn red, a klaxon sounds, and, a, and, you know, like, fire sprinklers deploy, but don't go off, because obviously not. And a turret drops down from the ceiling, starts spinning wildly at, like, 200 RPM. <laughs> And a small little trash can robot on wheels is going to roll out. And it's going to deploy a massive, what seems to be like cartoon laser beam out of the top of it and start spinning as well. <laughs> and that's just for this room. <laughs> Benjamin just kind of looks like, oh, you went robots. All oh, right. Duh. I should have realized. <laughs> yeah, I just gave you like a well, duh look. <laughs> so these I are have... the same kind of laser beams you use? Yeah. Nice. I just, uh, scaled them a little bit differently. Uh, some of them have some of them have the uh, the IPCs right, for as well. For indoor use, yes. <clears throat> some of them have IPCs as well, just to uh, uh, incapacitate. See, and he just like tries to like figure out the acronym. Ion pro- ion projection cannon. Ion projection cannon. Are ions strong again? I forget. It's 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 a glorified taser. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know, I know those. I know that feel. Okay. <laughs> I already know. Don't bother you with the science. Well, well so, at least uh, you got something. I'm still basically just locking my doors right now. Well, I could do an upgrade for you if you want. Uh, I'd rather have the gym. Okay. But yeah, uh, did that. Uh, did some investigation on... Uh, that robot kind of thing that we pulled back from under uh, the Ordress. Yeah, that's a pretty out there cybernetic conversion, and it's got uh, Mordhouse uh, fingerprints all over it. Really? Yeah. Let's Benjamin just, just going to like take a seat and just kind of go, I'm getting more and more confused all the time. <laughs> Let's just what is Mordhouse so, so... doing with the religions? It's I don't a know. MC. I don't know. Maybe they're just maybe they're just into it to sell the tech. But uh, some of the circuitry is uh, very similar. Tech. Oh my gosh, where are we in Greece now? <laughs> Throw in shade. So, oh, what have you been up to these last in this last week or so? Oh, you know this and that over at City Hall. They're putting over some new registration law. So I went and decided to. Talk some sense into some people. Okay. Actually met with Gladstone. Never, never really bothered meeting him before. Just kind of uh, been at the same parties every now and then. But uh, so when you rather reasonable when he mentions Gladstone, mm-hmm. you do recognize that guy. He has a stock in Mordhau as well. Well, he has a stock mm-hmm. in like fifteen companies. Yeah, but you've heard his name before. Uh well, wait, wait, wait. wait. Mordhau I mean, or, or Gladstone is now a major political person. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm asking. I'm oh, asking. Oh yeah, he's uh, a, a city councilman. Uh, <laughs> face palms a little bit. Great, another Mordhau link. He's like a yeah. ten. Per, he's like about. He's like a ten percent owner in Mordhau, which you know, you know business. You know that's, that's a pretty big number for an individual owner. Right, but I did manage to talk him into uh, uh, letting me speak for a uh, anti-registration kind of angle, maybe. Maybe something more like a governmental organization. I don't think you they really didn't mention. That. You didn't mention that you knew me, right? Uh, <laughs> not directly, no. Okay. I know. Remember, like, anything Mordhouse I don't want to have anything to do with? You know, you know right. I've got, I've got, I got military grade... In ...making sure that you wouldn't have to tell them your name or anything. I appreciate that. I'm just... But, well, there was someone else there who was kind of more interested in a registration angle. Mm-hmm. And he gave me his card. I'll okay. go ahead and hand it over to you. All right. Look at it. Does it ring any interesting bells? Uh, not exactly. Like, okay. you can tell the uh, numbers are probably some sort of cipher, but you can't really crack it. It's not... Yeah. Predictable. It's probably it's probably key to a cipher that proves that they that they're a a valid person. 
Yeah. Yep, he sold me as much. It's a key. Mm-hmm. Always like nice, convenient keys like this. But, um, <clears throat> well, he's he's actually a rather nice person, and uh, we had a little talk, and um, gave me a little solid, and um, I need to do a little solid for him back. Okay. And I'm not saying it's a trap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think it is. But it's definitely some sort of job. Okay. Job doing what? You know what? I haven't actually the foggiest. <sighs> but and I made you, a political you volu- ally, and that's just kind of the price of it at this point. Did you volunteer yourself, or did you vol- volunteer you and your friends? <laughs> well, he said he needed some... Uh, productive individuals, and uh, I assume he wants more than just me. I can always bring along Primus. But there's no telling how long that's going to keep his attention if they have to actually explain why we're there. Yeah. Or he's wanting something more like a association or something or other. But, you know... What if what this individual wants you to do is something illegal? Well, jeez, I'm just fucked, aren't I? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I mean, let's let's face it, like, I was... However today was gonna go, I think I was probably going to end up on the wrong side of it one way or another. Yeah, well... Either, uh, doing the registration thing, or having to actually pay for the broken windows or burning buildings, or working for this guy for a bit. I owe you a lot. So, uh, I will go with you. Don't, you. you don't owe me anything, but I'd appreciate it if you came. I, I owe you a lot. And so I will go with you. And besides, maybe we can do something to flashy enough to redirect the Mordhau hounds that outside. So that it makes it they so they can't find my place. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like they're gonna get inside and with that thing. And just like uh, point it. up to like the turret that's probably just still there spinning, but at least the <laughs> lights off. Yeah, we we I'd tell Epic to stand down. Uh. Oh, and I also have Epic do just a quick scan to see if this task uh acronym pulls up anything. Uh, interesting. Mm. The only thing you can find mm-hmm. is a grainy satellite image mm-hmm. in western Russia. So mm-hmm. The area beyond the northern glow that's not really inhabited. Yeah. Uh, all you can find is a grainy satellite image of some sort of facility there. Hmm. Right, they mentioned as much that they move locations. Hmm. I think they said that we're out on the rock, so yeah. Oh, 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 okay, we gotta meet him out in the rock? Yeah. We're not bringing Primus. <laughs> oh, why? What did he... Remember, he assaulted the rock? Oh, wait, he... Oh, that was the place? Yes! Oh. Um... And then they've been building up the military stuff uh, since then. I've noticed a lot of shipments going in lately. Hmm... <sighs> I wonder how they feel about an apology. I guess this is kind of an apology. I'm sorry we crashed your jet and drove your tank into the water. (laughs) And shot some people in the legs and blew up another helicopter and manned the password. We didn't do that. Primus did, and I don't see him apologizing for anything. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking maybe uh, whatever this job is could functionally be one. Uh, I'm more than... uh, Okay. Let us do this. Uh, This is the best compromise I can think of. We go meet the man. We go find out exactly what it is that he wishes us to do. If this is something that we can... That we could involve Primus in, then we bring him over. Rather than risking... Rather than risking going to full DEFCON 1 as soon as all three of us show up. Ah... Yeah, you're right. It is technically too risky. We should at least keep Primus informed in case um he's gonna have more fun tonight. Yeah, so it's tonight he want he wants to meet us. 
Uh, actually, that's a good question. Uh, we, when did he want us to meet with him? Uh, Is the implication he, like as soon as possible, or he didn't really say like, "Oh God, we're please, we need people." He's just saying like, you know, you know, wink, wink. You should, uh, you should, you know, wink, wink. Step in sometime, as in fairly soon. Mm-hmm. Right, the next so... day or so. Uh, but yeah, we could definitely do that easily on the down low, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll let you contact Primus and, and let him know that we may be bringing him in sometime tomorrow. Right. Okay. I imagine okay. Primus' visor probably has, like, integrated cell phone. Probably. Some, Primus? Like, like some sort of communication. That is a good question. Primus, you got a communicator of any kind? Only to Epic. Only to Epic. Okay. Hey, Epic, can you can you patch the me problem through? is that uh, equipment communications is a two way thing. Both things that have communications need communications, so it's not something right. I just put on there. Yeah. Well, right. So I'll, like, have to do it explicitly through Epic, probably like at the base or something. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> basically, you, you. So in other words, you basically get a text saying <laughs> on the bottom of your visor. Saying something may be up, we'll contact tomorrow. We'll contact further if necessary. Yeah, it's like, hey, Firebrand here. Probably a lot of fun in the future. If something terrible happens to us, probably a whole lot of fun. So you know, look forward to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if we're gonna have a busy day tomorrow, I'm gonna get some sleep. Ah. And then where do you want to where do you want to meet up tomorrow and what time? Uh we could probably meet somewhere over in Reichsglen and uh I guess drive the rest of the way. Um driving in my suit doesn't really doesn't really work well. well. I mean do you want to just land over there or what? Only thing I can think of unless you you know see so cuz I really don't want to show up there uh, underdressed so to speak. All right. So I'm going to recommend uh, we arrive somewhere in, like, Reich's Glen, like, on the edge of the industrial here, and then head the rest of the way over to the bridge, and then use our card and credentials to get across. Yes, and I, see, I recommend we land a good hundred feet or so away from the bridge and walk in. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that we are not showing any sort of obvious threat. Right, of course. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the plan for tomorrow. Okay. So it's maybe 6 p.m. by now. Would there yeah. be anything you do for the evening? Uh, nothing in particular. I'm, I'm pro my character's probably short on sleep after going through panic mode and upgrading everything, and then interesting project, and then paranoid about the Mordow. So <laughs> he's probably gonna crash early and get a good night's sleep. Noomsies probably uses his, like, personal direct line to, like, uh, all the other deities to just, like, talk to, like, Anher for a little bit, you know, uh, I believe he was the god of, uh, various bits of war and such. Mm hmm And just kind of, like, go over, like, various plans and then go, it's like, oh, yeah, I think this is great. It's like, what do you think? And generally, <laughs> like, uh, share that as, like, part of, like, uh, you know, bringing him a little bit back, to. Because I've already done that a lot with Toth, so, you know. Yeah. That's a belief we'll, alive. Uh, yeah, just just keeping him on belief life support. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, no one's sorry, thought about me for everyone, twenty years. Right Thank now. you. <laughs> but yeah, I will. Uh, I will try recommending. It's like, well, we are about to head to a military base. That's definitely the place where uh, you could maybe make a splash. Put yourself in their thoughts. Thoughts detected. <laughs> I'm not exactly how how uh, bringing them back is going to work or anything, or uh, if that's even the goal. I I'm just trying to like do a story bit here, and I'm not quite certain where it needs to go. I was just thinking, I was like, you could have a conversation with Toth. You know, maybe I should see if I can get Artemis to start praying to you. I mean, you're both about knowledge, and he's very smart. <laughs> Big God <laughs> praying to another God. <laughs> hey, remember that time the Romans, like, uh, took over Egypt, and then took away half the gods? Maybe you should talk to one of their gods. <laughs> the Chad Roman gods. Oh, God. 
All right, so. Hmm. Okay, so, um, checking in. Hmm. Let me, let me just think for a second. A bit of a conundrum at the... Hmm. Concerning... Yeah. Okay. Does he want to flatten my base now or later? Hmm! Oh. <laughs> How much information have I given away? Where does the tracking uh, beacon say that I've been? Do they all know? It's like, they're here now! At this very instant! Um, okay. So, do you let Primus know about this current state of affairs? Uh, yeah, I, I did. That was the intention. Okay. And how are you... I not have much commentary back on it, so... Yeah. And how are you organizing this, uh, this outing? So I, I heard that you're gonna, like, start far, approach... Right, we're gonna, like, head over to the industrial district just to meet each other, like, which is, like, eight miles out from there. Yeah. And then head towards, like, the bridge, land, like, uh, several hundred feet out, walk up to it, and then use our credentials. Okay. And would you be doing that with Primus at the time? No. I guess okay. it, given Primus is uh, half most wanted, half uh, city's best hero. You could. Pr I'm thinking you could probably get away with not like having him not wearing his mask. Probably wouldn't be as that easily identified. And if you're going into a place with um. If you're going to a place with other important individuals, well, not important, abnormal individuals probably wouldn't get a second glance. But my problem is there's always the chance that one person might recognize him. All right. Because he, he, wasn't, he wasn't wearing any sort of mask when he came through the first time. Mm. So I guess that would be a point to converge with Primus on. <laughs> the so other... Primus. Do you think most... you want to uh, try walking in quietly with us, or would you rather uh, have some fun outside? Well, again, these are questions that you're sending to Epic to then ask me, which is all very weird, because then it's then also going through Arsenal, who pointedly doesn't no. want me around. Epic, he's, Epic's got its own line. You know, Epic's his own person. You know, if if uh, right, uh, but how else is uh, is Benumzi's talking to Epic but through you? If Epic wanted, there, there Benumzi's like system. Line through him. You know, if Epic wanted Epic, Benum, uh, Benumzi if, could if have Arsenal's his own gonna line. like rip the phone away from my hands in the middle of talking to you. I mean, at that point, it's like we got a discussion. Yeah. So. yeah. So unless that happens, don't make me make a stand but here. But of course, the other the other flip the other flip side of it is on the way home, uh, um, Firebrand could have just tracked you down and is talking to you face to face. That's true. That is also true. I could just go ahead and uh, meet him sometime, like yeah. eight o'clock or something. Yeah. And so, so hey, I brought you some coffee, some chips. And so, what exactly would? You, so if it's like maybe eight at night, what? kind of shenanigans like like just smash cut to what to a fight in an alley uh with whom <coughs> the local thugs that are trying to take a purse from an old woman i don't know i don't know what crime goes on in this city whatever you can imagine <laughs> happening in a action movie from the 80s just, just, it's just, a shady just, deal of copyrighted material between two people. Yeah, just, just, just make it up. I just did. I literally just did. A okay. street gang in an alley trying to take a purse from an old lady, and I'm beating the crap out of them. Which, by the way, is a scene from either RoboCop, Watchmen, or again any other action movie from the '80s. So. There are a couple of uh, greasy-looking gang members that are getting absolutely pounded. They got these slick back pompadours, and they got this weird, know, this, like weird snake on their leather jackets, and they keep going like ah ah ah. It's been like thrown against a wall and everything. It's uh, it's a bit of a rout, but as you land there, the, the last couple of guys are going like, oh, we can't handle two of them, because of course they could have handled one of them, you know, obviously. 
and they're going to start scurrying. So. And I, I would assume, wait, um, what kind of clothes is Primus wearing? Uh, like leather biker style. And have you been wearing this, like, through the entirety of your rampage? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's covered in, like, bullet holes, burn marks. Probably, basically. Yeah. Well, Primus is looking a bit tattered, but none the worse for wear. Actually, yes, worse for wear. Um, but he's looking healthy. The twinkle of violence. The, the, the twinkle of casual violence in his eye. <laughs> I mean, I think it's probably ultra violence. Casual ultra violence. You gotta be relaxed about it. <laughs> no, if you get super psyched up for it, then it's the best. The adrenaline flows. You can't be casual about it. Otherwise the rage doesn't set in. <coughs> so I imagine you're like mid-beating someone in the head and I just kind of like <coughs> drop in. Right, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just have like a mug of coffee and like uh, a bag of Doritos in one hand. It's like, brought you some snacks. Uh, thanks? Hey, snacks are great. No, I'm not doubting that. I'm just wondering why you're bringing them. <coughs> well, I like snacks. I'll have them if you aren't. <laughs> Again, that's not really the point that I'm making here. Well, let me make another point. How about this? So, well, we got a little bit of a deal. You remember that uh, military base you, uh, Took a chat from. Uh. Yeah, sure. But thinking of walking by and saying hello. <laughs> All right. I mean, like, I don't think they're gonna be that friendly to you. Now, when it's like now, when you say say hello, what's the implication? <laughs> say hello. I mean, going inside and uh, maybe doing a bit of work for them. Oh, like yesterday? Well, no. Uh, rather differently than yesterday. Oh, well, maybe, actually. Hmm. I don't know what they're going to want us to do. But I've made a few arrangements that we are going to do some things for them. I'm wondering if you're more or less willing to uh, walk quietly with us across their bridge and uh, talk with them about it. Oh, that. so you did know the code. Oh, I mean, they gave me a pretty card now. I still don't actually know it. It's like weird bars and stuff. I don't know how to read that. Can I see it? Uh, I, I, like, pat myself over and just go... Oh, Arsenal has it. Dang it, I didn't ask for it back. Arsenal has it. Oh, I hope he remembers oh. it. I love to my other pants! Can't you just, like, create stuff? Can you just make sure, another one? It's not like I'm going to create a good one. Well, I mean, if you remember yeah, what it looks like, you can just make a new one. You have to make it from memory. But, but my point here is, uh, do you want to... Do you want to take a break and uh, do that? What or do you, you want to stay out here while we do that, and if they have something interesting, we'll uh, reach you then? What do you mean, take a break? Well, it's going to involve a lot of quiet walking, not doing anything uh, like this, as I like point to the guy who's like bleeding on the ground right now. Some listening and to instructions. And a lot of patient listening to instructions <laughs> and following them. God, You're not selling yourself. So boring. I know, right? I'm going to be bored out of my mind. You're Which is why our alternate plan is that if you stay out here and... Uh, we figure out what they want. Either they uh, maybe pull a big trap on us, and uh, I think Epic will probably give you the signal to do something about that, or when they tell us what to do, we can have Epic tell you where to go. I mean, At I'd least have this way to be, you don't have to be bored with us. I'd have to be pretty close by for that one to work. Well, I guess just hang out in Reichsglen tomorrow. Or, just throwing this out there, 
You could make me, I don't know, a flying vehicle of some sort. I could get you a glider, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe something with a motor on it. Something that revs. I could put a hand crank on it, I think. <laughs> it's not a motor. What the heck? What the hand crank? I'll be honest. I don't know how <laughs> motors work. I okay. know you put gasoline into them, and then there's fire inside, and then it goes. What if That's I, where my knowledge stops on the issue. What if I got a car, and then you could just make some sort of flying machine around it? Would that work? Well, I mean, I guess if there's already a motor, then a couple gears isn't too hard. Yeah. See, yeah, you just attach uh, some sort of rotating mechanism around a drive shaft, and maybe those could prop some sort of propeller? I don't know. Uh, so tell you what, I'll go, I'll go buy a car real quick so we can get an engine. I'll go buy a car real quick. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'll make that for you, and then we, uh, we have our deal. Sure. Like, it's like, I guess health and safety isn't really a concern. I'll test it myself. Well, hey, yeah. I mean, we've already clarified his health and safety, he doesn't even care about himself. No. Uh, but yeah, I will go ahead and, like, uh, buy a relatively cheap car, just take out the engine, and, uh, figure out how to make something that can fly with it. Yeah, so you can pick up an old beater, and be able to, uh, get it. Get, get a it. couple of gears, a propeller, and, uh, sort of fashion up a glider. Okay, make a technology check. This is probably, uh above my pay grade at that point if I'm making a technology check. Yeah. Which is at the point where I probably go like, Epic, how do I make a propeller churn? It's like, beep boop, here you go. You're in the visor. I was looking through your visor. Epic! And, and like, I, I imagine like, Arsenal will be sleeping in the back after doing like a, yeah. like, a like an all-nighter. And he's always yeah. like, hey, Epic, how do I do rah, rah, rah. It's like, oh, <laughs> God just turns over, pull the pillow over your head. <laughs> so, uh, with like, I'm not even gonna have. Oh, Primus already knows. I'm not even gonna have epic roll for this. <laughs> but with with the assistance, if you work for a good portion of the night, you can whip up uh like a, a powered ultralight glider type thing. Yeah, and I imagine with uh, Primus's uh, check here, he probably indicates very well what he wants me to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but apparently you're making a powered glider anyway, so. Okay. <laughs> what do you no, know? no, 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 I'm you. saying because that's probably what you would make, because I'm probably going to detail some badass, rad, radical shit. I need a UFO. Yeah, I want something with guns on the side, and, want, you know. I want Arsenal to make a UFO now. <laughs> Not going to lie. With like a tractor beam and everything. All right. So this is a personal and powered glider. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can whip it up. It's got a flying speed of flight three. So it can move 30 miles an hour. Yes. Cannot guarantee it will survive a crash and cannot guarantee a bullet hole will not cause the whole thing to crash to the ground and burn. If you put some more time into it and upgrade it, you could probably get it up to maybe probably a probably a. Flying speed five. Ooh. Yeah, I could put some more time into it. This is actually a fun project. Okay, so you do get a point of fatigue for the next day if you do work on it. Okay. But once you uh, wrap it up, it does have a flight speed of five. Nice. But it does also have the unreliable thing, so you can use it in five scenes before it needs to be repaired. You know, assuming. Yeah. Could use it in five scenes, unless I break it in one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, time to land. It flies straight down. Well, gotta go for the overachievement here. No ability to land. Guess I'll have to ram it. How much like, vehicle I... check do you have again? Uh, I have a ten. Oh, wow. cool. So, yeah, you, you pro might not crash it. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and, like, drink down the coffee I took and 
drink down some more coffee and realize, oh, I got four hours of sleep and I just drank all the coffee. Oh no. And it's the next morning. It is the next morning. Well, at least I'm already here. Just take a nap on this building and wait for him to arrive. Wait, did you construct this glider just on a random rooftop? Well, I mean, I could just go up to a rooftop afterwards. True. No, if he cre he bought the roof first, then he constructed something. <laughs> Gotta make it legal. When your money's got money. <laughs> All right. So it is the following day, and you have like, constructed a powered glider. Yep, constructed a powered glider. I'm waiting for uh, Arsenal to arrive at our agreed upon roof. There's just like a sleeping pigeon up there. Yeah. <laughs> Just I show on. up. Are you okay? The pigeon like transforms back into like Firebrand. Firebrand just like sprawled out like <laughs> after rolling. There's like in a three cups of coffee with him. It's like <laughs> I shouldn't try sleeping on coffee. No, it's a bad idea. I thought you were heading home to sleep after. Well, no, you probably had some. Never mind. Well, you probably I was, had some... but then Primus like started saying I should make him a flying thing, and I'm like I. <laughs> It was really cool. I got really into it. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You made a flying device. Oh, like a glider. I had to, like, rip an engine out of a car. I had to go buy one of those. And, like, looking around the side of the roof, you can see this monstrosity. <laughs> but it, but from, from what you can tell, this thing should be able to fly. Okay. Wait, am I still there? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, yeah, you... I assumed I assumed the flyer wasn't there that Primus had already taken it and gone somewhere as well. Oh, oh, well then, yes. Yeah, I assumed the idea was they didn't want me around so that I would be just off doing something else. Doing your usual crime-stopping stuff. Yep, dropping rocks on people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, like, yeah, you actually like fly down to a abandoned lot, pick up some bricks, put them in a bag, fly up, see a crime, just drop a brick on them. Hey, get yeah. out of here, drop brick. God, you kids! Nyah! Jeez. No walking on the grass! Nyah! Drop brick. No loitering! Nyah! <laughs> Tax fraud! Nyah! Throw that cup in the trash can! Drop Literally. brick. Alright, so... Are you gonna be awake enough to do this today, or do we need to reschedule Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I faked it before. Are you continue to make it? Ah, yeah. All right, so we go flying at a, for him, a very sedate speed. Yeah. I mean, it's still fast, it's just a little slower than normal. Actually, it's, a yeah. lot, it's a lot slower. Uh, for, can, 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 aren't you a flight like, 8? Yeah, I think it's fly 8, but I because I'm fatigued, I'm actually already a little bit slower. Yeah, uh, okay. All right, so, so like it's a tiny Godzilla. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, eight. All right. So, you're going to go up to Reichsland, and you're going to touch down, and then move in on the uh, gate on the from there. Yep. Yeah. Yes. That's a couple hundred feet out, so that we're not looking like we're uh, doing anything overly aggressive. You, you, mm -hmm. you got the card, right, Arsenal? A little hidden compartment in my suit opens up and out pops the card and I hold it oh, up with two phew. fingers. I, thought we, I almost thought we left that at your place. Mm, you did. But I was admittedly, I, I, was, I was looking at it at the time and so I just held on to it. I'm incredibly grateful you were smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In, internally, I'm just shuddering to think of what, that, what this so-called flying thing is going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the machine. Special considered he took a car engine and made a glider out of it. I mean, how big how big of a wingspan are you going to have to be to overcome the weight thrust ratio? It's like big wingspan, but it's also a triplane. <laughs> um, no, it's uh. Okay. So anyways, yeah. So, the rock. I, yes, as you approach, you see that, as opposed to the maybe two guys around guard before. Mm -hmm. There, it's been considerably reinforced. Mm -hmm. So there's now maybe like ten guys hanging around. One of which seems to be in some sort of 
like kind of primitive battle suit. Like it's it's more of an exoskeleton than anything else. Like not nearly as advanced. As... Yeah, yeah, a reinforced what? exoskeleton. Yeah. Let them lift yeah. two boxes at a time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gee, Billy, how come your exoskeleton lets you lift two boxes? Um. So yeah, it's it's your approach to kind of, you know, one of the guys, Death Force kind of stops you. He's like, "All right, what's your official business here?" <laughs> I see any sort of pass. Hand him the card. All right, he, he like he like takes a look at the card, looks up at you guys, kind of narrows his eyes a bit, and it's like, yeah, probably should have guessed. All right, ha! Ah, all right, boys, bring that uh, bring that, bring that. He like leans down to yeah. his little uh, walkie-talkie. All right, boys, uh, bring it down. Yeah, while well, the bridge is uh, coming out, I'm just like you know, crossing your arms, waiting for it to happen, waiting, waiting, <laughs> looking over at the guard and going, wait, what do you mean uh, you should have known? More people come in like this. Uh, well, let me just say, yeah, yeah, you, you, you folks have a look. What highly advanced technological devices do I have a look? And I say sarcastically. It's like, I mean, whoa, you are rather distinct. Exactly. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna go. Like, I mean, I mean, yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Be like, yeah, um, yeah, and it's, 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 it's gonna be like, oh, 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 yeah, and he talks back to the thing again, and I bring it down to level two. And as you can see on the other side, as it's being lowered down, some hydraulic lift lowered down from the uh regular level of the street where you guys are down a bit lower. So instead of going back on top of the rock, it lowers down to a door within the rock itself, it's a bit lower. So we're the instead of it being a flat bridge, we're going to be going down the slope. Yes. All right. I'm going to stop and create a skateboard. <laughs> and that is how uh, I'm going to <laughs> rush the facility. Does it have like Guy Fieri flames on it? Oh, you know it does. All it's right, probably got like a picture of like my face on it. <laughs> <laughs> so make a vehicles check. I'll have you know I have none of that. Good. I know exactly what I got myself into. Ah, eleven. So you like almost fall a couple times. What? <laughs> <laughs> like you're not making it look cool, but you make it to the other side without going off the edge. I I, I see him start. I see him start to roll down. There's the usual clang <laughs> of the face palm. I shake my head. Yeah, and I just kind of like, like uh, well, I guess I'm not advertising for Komodo Loco anytime soon. And mm -hmm. since he's going down the slope and going at a pretty good clip, I I go ahead and you know ignite the jets and kind of fly slowly along beside him. <laughs> he's going faster than I would be at a, if I was walking. Yeah. And when you get down there, you can see that the uh, the door has the acronym Task printed on it, and there is a small intercom beside the. Door. Let's push the intercom button. All right, like, bing, and you hear uh, the familiar voice of Elevator Guy going like, Ah, so you've made it so early, too. Mm -hmm. I always like to be early for all my appointments. Ah, well, it's very uh, very generous of you. I'll just uh, unlock this thing and let you fellows in. And there's going to be like the sound of like 17 locks unlocking. And then the big old door is going to slide open. And inside... And they're like three feet thick. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, you guys uh, open up into this big kind of half hangar, half warehouse. You got these guys in uniforms all pushing stuff around, shuffling around to and fro. And standing inside, like, the door control box, you can see elevator guy. He's got kind of like, well, gentlemen, welcome to task. Hope you can uh, make yourselves comfortable while I explain the situation. Oh, please do. I'm really curious what you guys get up to over here. Yeah. By the way, what's your name? <laughs> it's like, no, let's not go crazy here. Well, uh, a name. Yeah. 
We can't keep like, calling you elevator guy like he has been. I'm pointing yeah. to, <laughs> point to, uh, 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 and I'm just brand. like behind you, like waving my hands, like, oh no, no, I swear I did only totally refer to you by that. I swear I remember your name. It's like, uh, you can call me Mr. Career. Mr. Career. I'm Arsenal, as I'm sure you are aware of. Yes, pleasure. And this must be the, uh, individual with the artificial intelligence you implied. That gets a sudden look over <laughs> at, <laughs> at, and then like a, a point like we will have words. Benjamin is just like seen shrugging and like half whispering. It's like I, I swear I just thought it was what any computer could do. <laughs> I have an advanced algorithm. Yes, it can do some interesting things. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm sure it can. Now, if you wouldn't mind following me over here, we are here, uh, I believe, our fifth and sixth perspective applicants. Uh, the other three, including my, uh, not including myself, have already been accepted. Now, you're probably wondering what it is we do here. And as like he's discussing this, you're like walking through this large warehouse area. Well... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sure you've noticed that things have been getting a bit more chaotic as of late, you know, with uh, all these strange powered individuals showing up out of the woodwork. Now, of course... I have... hmm? Oh, I have noticed there's been an interesting uptick in such things since we first started doing things. Yes, and uh, as our records show, this... Hasn't exactly started recently, but it has definitely become more pronounced. And as a result, several of the world megacities have pooled their resources into TAS. And he gestures around. So as such, we, this is our first established base in Mega City 4. Now, a lot of us are straight out of training in Russia, but you'll find that we know what we're doing for the most part. Oftentimes, we worked outside the law before we signed up. Ah, uh, but I believe yesterday you seemed quite keen on doing so. Change of heart? Yes, I saw the advantages. And it's like, it's like, it's like not to mention, you can get kind of tiresome lugging around all of your own equipment when you got these, uh, these, these fine staff to do it for you. Ain't that right, boys? And they're kind of, they're kind of like, eh, yeah. As you're kind of like stumbling around with these large boxes of equipment. Well, it seems we're kind of on the same page, given I talked myself into this. <laughs> He's like, It seems you kind of identify what I already knew was going to happen. So that's very interesting. Hmm. Yes. So. But you said that there were other candidates. Please continue. Ah, yes, the other candidates. We've got a quite an interesting bunch. Now, I'm sure it won't surprise you that. With all this strangeness going around, we do have a candidate that isn't quite mm, standard. But uh, there are a few others as well that are... Well, there's one other in particular that's a bit strange, but... Judging from what I know about you, and he points at Firebrand, you're not exactly as you seem either. Ah, uh, you got me. I'm a waffle person. <laughs> oh, I've been more of a pancake man myself. But, uh, Just like no. the squares. They, they hold stuff. Oh. You just can't get maximum fluff, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I've done my own little bit of digging. There's been some reports in the past, historical documents, that detail somebody with a similar power set. Could that be a relative, perhaps? Is this a bloodline thing? Oh, I think I might know about them a little bit. And I just, you know, give him, like, that cheeky sort of little smile. And he's... he's, 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 he's a snort <laughs> from the yes. <laughs> Snort. And he, he's gonna kind of, like, give you an annoying look and then tap the side of his nose. It's like, ah, okay. Oh, I might explain a little bit more once I get uh, my bearings on the whole situation. Yes, of course. But I'll give you this. You're not off the mark. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, keep that in mind. It's like, yes. Uh, ah, new candidates should just be in, through in here. They can uh, have a short discussion with you. And he's going to open up another door. And as soon as you guys go in, 
he's just he like doesn't follow you and he's just kind of gone yeah, ushering us forward yeah but, uh, no it, we didn't know if we turned around we wouldn't see him walking away he's gone yes i i okay Man, so I that gets my team right then oh they always do that to me <laughs> he just disappear it's like wait 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 hold up yeah, but I got my Candy Crush notification for today, so, you know, at least I got that out of the way. <sighs> All right, we go in and see who these other candidates are. Yeah. So, this appears to be, like, some sort of common room. And it looks like these people do actually live here, so... What you do notice is there is a pool table in the middle of the room, a round table in sort of a kitchenette, as well as this weird kind of stack of oddly shaped pillows. Mm-hmm. And like like pillows and blankets and a and a heat lamp. Okay. And there's also these like weird kind of stitching and needlework, like artworks that have been placed up on the wall. It's all kind of crude, but you notice there's several like Aquilas placed up everywhere. And uh, Firebrand, make a, I guess, in a uh, well connected check, please. Okay, I believe that would be another persuasion roll if I yes. remember my advantages. So let's do it. When you say it. Aquila, do you you mean like the Roman eagle Aquila? Yes. Okay, just making sure. I'm... Twenty-four. Okay. So, uh, as you uh, okay, so as you kind of rack your brains, you do know somebody who thought himself a bit of a well. He he prided himself on his midwife style skills, even though he was always quite shit at it. But you thought he was dead. And coming in through the door, there is a guy you recognize. Yeah, he, uh, he, he he comes through another door. He, he, he looks like he's part of it. Part of him might have been on fire at one point. He's still smoking slightly, and he's like, "Oh, what a day!" And he uh, kind of stops when he sees you. 